okay today we're standing at Omar Beach and I have a different type of video for you guys today and I'm today here with Matthew Leach and he's gonna tell us a little bit about him okay Matthew tell Hi. me who you are and uh, who you played in Band of Brothers Hi, my name is Matt Leach and I played Floyd Talbot, first sergeant Floyd Talbot in Band of Brothers. How was it working with Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks? Well, um, great, obviously, uh, but you don't really... Spielberg doesn't talk to people like me. He has someone who talks to you for him. So uh, my lasting memory of working with Steven Spielberg is uh, I was shooting a scene in the Carantan episode um, and uh, there was a, a firefight going on and something happened and I was shooting my M1 rifle and it, it was, it, Spielberg had come down to the set that day and was in fact directing the episode. He'd taken over from directing and called cut and I watched him point at me and whisper something to his minion and then point at me again. So then this guy came walking over to me and I literally thought, this is it, this is my moment. This is where Spielberg has said, you're going to be the lead in my next film. And uh, a guy came over to me, he was like, uh, Stephen? I was like, yes. Uh, Stephen says, yes. You got no recoil on your rifle. And then he just walked off. Because of course they have felt blanks and they don't kick at all. So we, I was just like shooting it like it was, we were playing cowboys and Indians. And literally that's the only thing Spielberg said to me in a year of filming. And I was thinking of re releasing a biography called You've Got No Recall on Your Rifle. <laughs> conversely, <laughs> conversely, Tom Hanks directed all of episode five, which I'm in a fair amount. And I did work with him for pretty much solidly a month. And he is the coolest human being that ever lived. And the one thing, the one thing that doesn't come across with Tom Hanks, because he is a sort of like American sweetheart type guy, is he's kind of a badass. He's a tough guy as well. So you had to be totally on point or he would give you a full-on whipping. And he's a big guy as well. Not that he was physically violent, don't, don't put that in. <laughs> but like he was, he was pretty, pretty stern. Okay, Matthew, can you tell me a little bit about uh, Dale Dye? and how it was working with that guy. Okay, so, Dale Dye. <laughs> <laughs> what can a person begin? say about Dale Dye? <laughs> well, obviously, uh, he's a man with a very recognizable voice. I will impersonate it uh, shortly. But of course, if you want to go to the absolute perfection of impersonations of Dale Dye, you've got to go to Michael Cudlitz, uh, who does it absolutely brilliantly. Anyway, um, I come from a military family. And my dad was all taking me on exercise and stuff. I've grown up around soldiers, so I know, I know these people. And I knew what they were like on boot camp, and I knew what was coming. So after about, I don't know, nine days of boot camp and everyone doing what they're told, we line up to take a picture, and suddenly somebody is impersonating Dale Dye. But not only is he impersonating Dale Dye, he's doing it in a comic way. So he's going like, now goddamn easy, stay on the box still, or I'll punch you in the goddamn thromboid. And everyone's in hysterics, but all I can think of is, oh no, they're going to make us repeat the entire boot camp because we're showing no respect. And this is all part of the interview, by the way. This yeah, is, I, I organized this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what uh, Floyd Talbot organized for us uh, during this interview. Well, thanks for that, Matthew. Sorry. As a, to quote Snoop Dogg, I know some people who know some people who robbed some people, so that's how I was able to get that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how was the 10 days boot camp? 10 days boot camp, I loved boot camp, I really did. There's a scale of people um, from people like myself and, and like Frank John Hughes and guys like that that clearly loved boot camp. I mean, Frank is still in about 1968 because he got in so deep. So, uh, And then there's the other spectrum of people like Rick Warden who played Harry Welsh who hated boot camp and if you ask him we'll tell you, we'll tell you that it was about four weeks long and he's still not recovered from it uh, but it was great it was good it was a really good experience a real good bonding experience we still talk about it now it's the first thing anyone ever asks any of us about was how was boot camp um, it was great I really really enjoyed it but you know they, they, they gave us a good kicking a good hazing for at least the first few days. Uh, I think uh, you probably needed that as well. Right? Oh, I definitely needed a kick. <laughs> Not as much as Shifty did. Uh, 
<laughs> At least I turned up to parade on time. <laughs> I was just be funneling Peter Youngblood Hills there the entire time. Like, I don't know, do I have to do this every day? <laughs> I mean, do we just stand in a line? Or uh, it doesn't make no sense. <laughs> you would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> what was the favorite scene you played in, in Band of Brothers? What was your favorite scene that you liked the most? Let me think. My favorite scene, possibly when we find Blythe at the beginning of three, is pretty good. Hmm. Um, there was one scene that got cut out. <laughs> it was part of the scene, actually. Uh, so after the crossroads, and then we all hit the deck, and then I shout like, "There's a whole other company!" and the SS start pouring through. Uh, I did a reload on my M1. So I had film rounds in my pocket here. He goes ding 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 ping and I let up to one side, got in and started firing again in I reckon about one and a half seconds. And Tom Hanks, who had a little what's called a clamshell, so you're watching all the video footage, he called cut and he just went, nice reload, Sergeant Talbot! And I felt so proud. And they cut it out because they were film blanks, and so you, they don't have a uh, bullet on the end of it, so yeah. you could you could tell so, they were yeah. they weren't real. <laughs> oh, that's that's that grates with me a little bit. Okay, Matthew, last question. Yeah. Do you think that the real Floyd Talbert would be proud of your performance in Band of Brothers? I hope so. Is the honest answer there? Um, yeah. I was in contact for for a while with these two brothers, Max and Bob, and. Uh, what they got out of it, rather than a sense of pride, or, or it, what they got out of it was closure uh, for their brother, because they lost their brother in '82, I believe, and uh, it was part of I don't know. He, I, I'm not sure how much of it he talked about and shares with his brothers, but he'd gone through some pretty dark times by all accounts. Um, even though they said that he didn't, uh, all that sort of stuff that's written about Floyd Talbot, and he sort of disappeared off in the woods and drank a lot and that kind of stuff. He, they said that wasn't true. But there's a lot of stuff that's uh, sort of coming to light afterwards. Um, but I would hope so. I'd hope he'd, I'd hope he'd think he was pretty good. Um, I think I think you will. I think you will. You did a great job in Battle Brothers. Thanks, buddy. And uh, yeah, I think he will be uh, looking down on you with uh, a lot of proud, proudness, a lot of pride. Good, good. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Appreciate Anna. it. Cheers. And oh, before we forget, can you yeah. tell us about your company, the We Happy Few? Uh, what, are you, yes. what are you guys doing uh, and where can people find you? Okay, so at the moment we're on a tour uh, in Normandy. We've got a two day tour. We've got a company called We Happy Few 506, and it started out um, during COVID where we were doing uh, Zoom, like Zoom cast, like a Zoom podcast where we'd get the Band of Brothers cast members on to do reunions and we went through all the episodes 1 to 10 and we got different uh, cast guys on, we got writers, we got directors on and I interviewed them all uh, and you can still find that on our website so it's uh, wehappyfew506.com and if you go down there's like, there's like podcasts and webcasts on the shop you can go in and see them but we also have a podcast and we get guys from the shop but we get all types of different guys and we've actually got Tony Toe coming on next weekend on the podcast and he's the was the executive producer of Band of Brothers so he's kind of a big deal so probably when the people are seeing this video it will probably already be online yeah it will so. already be online go, go <laughs> check it out I'm just trying to think yeah, of yeah, questions yeah. As, I, yeah. as I'm doing this interview alright man amazing thank you thank you for this interview yeah. so, cheers buddy appreciate it cheers guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this extra special episode with Matthew Leach who played Floyd Talbot in Band of Brothers he's an amazing guy very energetic and man, Matt, we love you. You're, you're a great guy. Um, as well, in the link, I will put a link in the description of the We Happy Few 506 uh, tours, as well as their website where you can find the podcast and the Zoom meetings as well. And uh, I also made a Patreon, so if you want to support me and my channel uh, on my Patreon, I'll put a link of that also in the description. And yeah, we are here at Omaha Beach, and this is a perfect way to end this video. Thanks, Matt, again, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Salute.